Hey everyone, John here. Welcome back to another Blender modeling tutorial. I've just finished modeling the Indian Scout Bobber motorcycle, and one of the small details I created was this cable clip, and I thought this would make a really nice tutorial. So go ahead and create a new document, and let's get started. All right, so making sure that you're in top view, press Shift A and choose Mesh Circle. Now for this, we want a radius of 0.5 and for fill type, we'll choose triangle fan. That's all we need. So tab into edit mode, I to inset, and we're gonna make this a thickness of 0.2, just like that. And we're gonna select all of these faces and delete, just like that. Okay, so let's select all of that. Just make sure you're in increment snap mode. And I'm just going to use the move tool. And I just want to snap this across here to there. You can see I've left one square here. Now coming up to the mesh menu and choosing symmetrize. Excellent. Two for edge mode. And we want to select those edges there, pressing shift and adding those ones there. Shift B to bridge edge loops. Control R and add five loops. Excellent. We'll also add a couple more just here, right click, and here, right click, just to make sure it's centered. Okay, one for vert mode. Come up and activate proportional editing. Make sure it's in sphere mode. And select this one here and just drag down on the Y. You can see the size of my fall off. You can change that size just by rolling your mouse wheel. Don't make it too big or you'll start to destroy the shape. So probably about there is good. And just bringing it just down to that line. That gives us this nice curve. All right, edge mode, select these and hitting N. Now make sure you have the loop tools add-on activated in your preferences. And under loop tools, choose space just to space those out. Now, as far as relaxing these goes, generally what I do is use a paid add-on called Volume Smooth, and that allows me to relax these faces in edit mode. But if you don't have that, you can always use Sculpt Mode. So come up to Sculpt Mode and choose Slide Relax. Hold down Shift, and then just relax these a little bit. It's another way to do it. Excellent. Okay, so coming into, let's see, front, and we'll come back to edit mode as well. Now you can press control tab to change those modes as well. I often forget that. Pressing three to go into face mode, A to select all, and E to extrude. We're gonna come down seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and snap. Now you can see that my normals are reversed. I have a custom theme, so my reverse normals show as light blue. Yours might be dark blue. We'll just select everything. My flip normals command is under my quick favorites. Just flip normals, control R, left click, right click, just to make sure that's centered. Now we wanna drag everything down and make sure it's snapped to world center. So select all and making sure you're in increment mode. Come down, hold down control and snap like that. And I also need to turn off proportional editing. I don't think that's changed the shape at all. Okay, let's mirror this now. So come over to modifiers and choose add modifier mirror. Now we want X axis and X bisect and the same for Z. And just turn on clipping. That's it. And we'll also just activate on cage as well. Tab one for vertex mode and select this one here. We're gonna slide this up a little bit just by pressing G twice. Just give us a bit of space there. Quick save. What we also wanna do is just decrease the amount of loops we have here as well. Now I like to use the poly quilt tool for this, but let's do it the vanilla way. Just make sure you have auto merge vertices turned on and come up 
and choose vertex mode. Don't activate snapping. And I'm just going to hide this again. And come up and just make sure you choose tweak selection. Okay, so clicking on this bird here, holding down control. Actually, we want to come on the other side. So click on that one, holding down control and snapping. And same for this one, and same for this one. And if we press control seven on the numpad, we can see the backside. So you can see how that's also merged there because we have it in a mirror modifier. So pressing seven on the numpad takes us back into top orthographic. Okay, so two for edge mode. Now we want to dissolve a few of these. So just shift clicking between them, shift control, and we want to get rid of that one and that one, control X. Okay, yep, it's all looking good. Just don't worry about that one just yet. What we'll do now is apply the mirror modifier. You can see we have to just get rid of this one here as well. So control X and just come around the other side and just get rid of that one. Control X. All right, excellent. I'm gonna come down the bottom and just check if see if there's any stray verts there. Yeah, I had this happen to me before as well. Mirror modifier is great, but it can leave some stray verts. So I'm just gonna get rid of these ones just by selecting them and pressing delete and dissolve vertices. Okay. All right, three, let's select those and let's select those. I to inset, hopefully I'm not going too fast for you. Okay, so we've got both sides selected. Once again, N, and this time we're gonna use loop tools circle and it looks a bit crazy at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll choose fit inside, uncheck flatten, so that keeps that shape. It also looks okay on the flat surface there. And we'll actually choose radius and we'll make this 0.28. That size seemed to be just right. Okay, so shift B, just to bridge those two. Very nice, you can see that fits in quite well there. Quick save. Gonna hide that. All right, so this isn't ideal topology. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a few cuts in. So we'll press K for the knife, and we'll press C to cut through and A to constrain. And we could put this in the mirror modifier, but it's pretty quick just to right mouse click and just continue these cuts all the way through. And do the other side. Sometimes it can take longer just to put it into a modifier and get that all prepared and do what you need to do and then apply it. Then it does just doing it this way. Okay, so those cuts are all the way through now. Just hit enter to apply that. And edge mode, just select these edges. Same on the bottom. It's going to dissolve these. Watch the keyboard shortcut. Control X. Now, before we go on, I just want to mention that I did actually try a version of this where I added these loop cuts before I added the hole. And I wasn't getting the loop tools circle tool to work acceptably. It kept giving me these really weird shapes. That's why I decided to add the circles and bridge and then add in these cuts afterwards. All right, so let's sharpen this now. So just making sure you're in edge mode and we'll choose select sharp edges. Just increase the sharpness value until we've just deselected everything inside this cylinder shape. That appears okay now. Just look at the bottom because this is gonna be the limiting factor just here. Control B and roll the mouse wheel just once to add one loop. Hold down P and drag to the right just to make that a shape of one. And I think it'll be okay. We can probably make that a little bit more. 0 0.008, that'll do. 
tab. Okay, let's also just right click and choose Shade Smooth. All right, now we're ready to put this into a mirror modifier. So add modifier, mirror, this one's gonna be on the Y. And you can see they're butted right up next to each other. So if we press control period, now we're moving the origin. So just moving it slightly down on the Y will separate that. Making sure you press control period again, just to turn that off. Very nice. So let's apply the mirror modifier and we'll add a sub D surface. Bring it up to two. There we go, looking good. Okay, so next let's create the hex screw that sits in this hole. And once again, we'll start with a circle. So Shift A, Mesh, Circle, and just come down under a line and choose View. This is gonna be six vertices, and the radius will be 0.15. And for fill type, once again, we'll choose Triangle Fan. Okay. Shift space just to show the wireframe. Tab into edit mode and select the outer loop. E for extrude, right mouse button just to accept that. S for scale and scale up. Okay, now we're going to select these inner loops. Control B to bevel. And just make sure you've rolled your mouse wheel and just got that extra loop. Excellent. Once again, let's select this outer loop. And we're going to use Loop Tools Circle for this. So hitting N and Circle. Now, I've had this problem in version 3.3 .3 of Blender where it just disappears. And sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. And I think I've narrowed it down. So I thought it would be good to record this. I'm just gonna undo and just come back to object mode, press Control A and apply all, and just try that again. There you go, so now it's working. So if you're having the same problem as me, just apply all in object mode first. Okay, so the angle's not quite right. I'm gonna bring that back to something like that and just increase the radius. You see it goes a bit wonky. I think that's fine. So I'm just going to keep that as it is and just scale it up a little bit to about there. Okay, excellent. I did try it in 3.1 just as a test and it worked perfectly as expected. So there seems to be some difference in 3.3. All right, so three for face mode, selecting all and just come to a side view here. Just going to press Alt Z just to go into X ray mode and just going to move that up on the Y. So G Y, just move it up to about there. It's pretty nice. Maybe a little bit more. G Y, about there. E to extrude. Going to extrude down the Z just to about there. And you can see it's reversed again. So I'm just going to select all and just flip the normals. Okay. Quick save. And what we're going to do is just select this bottom face. I'm just going to hit W and make sure I can drag out a selection there. I to inset, delete those faces. Two for edge mode, select that loop. I've got grid fill in my quick favorites, so just choosing grid fill or control F. Okay, and I might just offset that so it's even like that. All right, so now I've got quads on the bottom just to make it clean. Tab. Select these ones here. Now I want to select all of those. That's it. E to extrude. Just extrude that down somewhat. Okay. Let's just shade smooth. And we might actually just shade auto smooth. Now shade auto smooth is in the contextual menu in version 3.3 .3 and beyond. So you can choose it there. If you don't have 3.3, .3, come down to your object data properties and to all open normals and you can grab it here. Okay, edge mode. 
And let's just do a sharp selection. So we'll go to select and choose select sharp edges. Just increase that. We want to just remove this ring here. Just increase that. Excellent. Make sure we've got the bottom one selected too. Yep. Control B. Just create a nice bevel there. Just making sure the shape is at one. Face mode, select those, delete. Vert mode, I'm just going to merge these. Now I've still got auto merge turned on, which is living dangerously. Vertex snapping is selected. So I'm just going to make sure I have tweak selected and just grab these and just control snap them. And that will merge them. So just work your way around and just snap these in. So this is the vanilla way to do it. I do have add-ons that I use to make this a little faster. Things like polyquilt. I also have this one here. This is the merge tool. Let's say, I think it's a free add-on you can grab. It's just working the way around. All right, two for edge mode. Just select these. We're going to dissolve these. Control X. Okay. And just select that loop. F to fill. And we just need to add a knife cut to create two quads. Like that. All right. So we could put another loop in there. And if you wanted to, you could just put a bunch in there just to even those out. And adding a subdivision surface. Gonna make that two. And just bring back my clip there. And there we go. Only a small detail, but nice and cleanly modeled. Okay, so hopefully you found that useful. Have fun, enjoy your modeling, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.